Welcome back. The time is 6.30. Dr. Erica from St. Vincent Healthcare joins us in studio. And since we are celebrating Take Your Kid to Work Day, you brought your daughter I with. I did, Lannon. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us. We appreciate having you here. Today we're talking about drugstore dermatology. Now, there's a certain skin conditions where you can just go to the drugstore and buy something to treat it, but not all of them are made equally. So let's start off with protection and sunscreen. Okay, yep, sunscreen's probably the number one best thing you can buy over the counter at the drugstore. Um, a few little pearls that people may not know about. Number one, if you bought those um, cheap end of the year sunscreens last year, you mm -hmm. need to throw them away. They're not good a year later. So I would ditch all yeah. of the old sunscreen, buy new sunscreen. Mm -hmm. What do you wanna look for on the, um, on the bottle? You want to make sure that it covers both UVA rays, which cause mm -hmm. aging, but more importantly, UVB rays, which is what leads to the burns and leads to the skin cancer. Um, you want to reapply frequently, like it says on the bottle. You want it to be water resistant. Mm -hmm. You should always use a cream as the base or the lotion as the base. And then if you are a person that likes the sprays, use the sprays to touch back up, but you shouldn't be using that as your base. It's not going to cover it. You supplement with some vitamin D that you can buy at the drugstore as well because the sunscreen is going to block your skin's ability to absorb and convert yeah. the vitamin D from the sun. All right. And a problem I see to uh, fight year after year since my teenage years, mm -hmm. acne. Acne, <laughs> acne, there's so much, and it can get so overwhelming, and I think the bottom line here is that less is more when it comes to acne. You can spend gotcha. a lot of money and have a lot of stuff mm -hmm. in your um, cupboard with um, for acne products, but less is more. Gentle cleanser, you're not going to scrub that stuff off. You need to have right. a gentle cleanser. You need to use a benzoyl peroxide um, product that can stay, it can bleach some of your towels, and so you have to be careful with that, but use it in the shower. Kills off all the bacteria. Use a salicylic acid wash can help as well and then a gentle cleanser. A retinol is also very important, so if you can find a retinol product, which you can get over the counter at the drugstore, um, get one that, you know, it could be a little more money, but it should work for you um, in your acne. And last but not least, let's talk about dry skin. I know it's common, especially in the winter. It is, and here's the biggest pearl on that, is lotions are gonna dry your skin out more. Oh. So you need a cream. So if it cream. squirts, it okay. has alcohol in it to make it nice and slimy and squirt, but that alcohol is gonna dry your skin out more. Ah. So you need to look for a cream, something that you have to scoop or really squeeze hard. And then if you have really dry skin on your hands or your feet, an ointment is then the other end of the gotcha. spectrum. So you want to cover that in an ointment, like a petroleum jelly product, like Vaseline or Aquaphor, and mm -hmm. put some cotton gloves or socks over the top of it and mm -hmm. sleep on it overnight, and then Baby use your cream ends. the next day. Yeah, all right. Well, Dr. Erica, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Thanks for having us. And thank you for being here. We'll be right back <laughs> after this break.